G'day guys. I want to talk about when you get pushed for an answer and you're not comfortable with it. It is really common when you're talking to a client or you know a friend and you're just not ready to give an answer where they ask you like how long will that take? And you know you can give them an answer but that usually comes back to bite you because even though you give newer answers later on, they'll always say that you originally said that was gonna take a week. So one of the things that you wanna do when you're not ready to give an answer is to say something like, uh, I think it's too early to say. That's it. I think it's too early to say. I need more information. I need to know this, this, this. So that is um, really helpful, but then you're gonna to have to come back and give an estimate. And the, the better way of doing that is to have some idea what is expected. And you know, you can, you can be asked by a client, okay, you sound awesome. It sounds like you know what you're doing. Uh, can you send me a proposal? You go back and you look at it and you send them a proposal. It adds up to $90,000. When the client receives that email, they will, you know, you, you could have made a 10 page document. They will open the email, scroll down until they hit that amount. They'll see it's $90,000. Like, all right it's not what I was expecting. And they don't even read all your hard work that you put into your estimate. Before doing an estimate, I think it's better to ask them. Okay, so for this system, there's many ways I can go about it. I think I could just do a pretty simple solution and just get you past this, or I could make a proper solution. Like, do you have any type of ballpark that you want to spend on this and they will give you an answer sometimes they'll, they'll they'll try to say well you tell me you know you're the expert um it's better to say look give me an idea like i could make a very simple little script or i could make a full-blown custom solution do you want to spend like three grand or 20 grand or 100 grand they might then say oh not a hundred that now tells you it's more than likely not three grand, but 20, 30, 50, something like that. So then you start working on that and you can ask them the question again, like, okay, look, I could do it like, like basic. I could, we could do, we could spend 20 grand or we could spend 40 or 60 and you, you might get another answer. So that is um, the best way of then going back, preparing a document that has it in the ballpark when they said, look, you know, 40 to 60, if that number is somewhere in that range or even just 65, you're in the ballpark and you're not sending them something that has no, completely outside their budget. And the, the other way of pushing back if you're asked continually is to say, Look, I've been doing this for a while, you know. I don't I'm not a person that likes to overpromise and underdeliver. You know, that's that's your last statement you can say, you know, nicely saying no, I'm not giving you an estimate. So hopefully this will give you some ideas of how to handle being pressured to give an answer too early so that later on it, you know, that figure isn't anchored into their head and it doesn't come back to bite you. Let me know if you've got better ways of dealing with it.